Let's get the color. Bring it out! Because most brothers and sisters, they'll say, oh, uh, Christ, is a, Christ is a white man. He's in my church. Or they'll say, oh, color doesn't matter. Well, if color doesn't matter, why is it documented in your book, black man? Right! right. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. The most I got is smitten us with madness. Right! And it's time for us to repent and keep God's law. That's right! Revelation! Chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. This is the re revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Right. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this revealing of Christ was revealed to his servants. It was revealed to his servants. Right. So if it was revealed to his servants, that means that color does matter. Right. Right. Get verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Listen up, black man, Hispanic man. But show them the description of your savior, the Jesus Christ. Right. Read that from the top again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. It said his hairs and his hair, said his head and his hairs were white like wool. It was, the, it was the texture of wool. If you feel your head right now, we're the ones that have woolly hair. Right. Not that stringy dog hair. Right. Bring it out. That's the hair of Christ, the black messiah. That's right. What else does it say? His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Hey, sis, hey, 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 pause for a minute. We're over here trying to, uh, well, not trying, we're trying to uh, reveal Christ. We're revealing Christ to you in the Bible, thus says the Lord. Right. You know Christ is a black man? Yes, sir. You do? Yeah. Where would you find it at? Where would I find it? Yeah. Old Testament. Um, Exodus. And I know that the Israelites was, uh, their skin was as black as coal. Um, okay. So yeah, I, I, I know that, that we were black in the Bible and they changed us to life. Well, let me ask you this. Why did they change us to life? Why wouldn't they? I mean, to... <laughs> It changes the narrative of the world. Basically. Exactly. Yeah. Matter of fact, get that in uh, 1 Maccabees uh, 3 and 48. We're going to show you in the Bible where it prophesies that they would go in our books and change our images. Right. This isn't our words. This is what the Most High God says. 1 Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law. So, the heathen, your enemy, your oppressor that gave you this image right here, read and laid open the book of the law. He laid open the book of the law, this Bible right here. Read. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. It says, where the heathen. That's heavy because it didn't say your friend. It didn't say your brother. It says the heathen. It says the heathen. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. He sought the likeness to paint the likeness of their images. That's why we have these images here today. But with us knowing that, we have to go back and read ourselves and find out what Christ really looks like. Man, forget that, uh, blessed see that reading. This is one thing that the so-called black man and Hispanic man doesn't do. We sit here and we go off of what everybody else says and there's no source. But we don't go to the main source right here. Right, right. Matter of fact, what's the old saying that they that he used to say? They probably still say it today. If you want to hide something from a nigga, do what? Hide it in the book. Exactly. <laughs> right. Because we don't read. We lean on our own understanding. Read that right there. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Bro, blessed is he that readeth. It says, blessed is he that readeth. You're a blessed man. You're a blessed woman if you read. If you read and find out that Christ is a so-called black man, looks like you and you. Right. Did you know Christ was a black man? You didn't know that? You're going to hit the description. Today's your day to learn, sis. What's your name, by the way? Say it again. Raya, I'm Samuel. Nice to meet you. You're going to get the description of Christ you. Read. Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So, Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. I want you to do me a favor. Feel, man, both of you feel your hair. What's that right there? I know your hair braided, but your hair woolly. Trust me. Right. Your hair is woolly. Right. Like Christ. Read. His head and his hair were white like wool. Uh -huh. As white as snow. So it's given the color of his head. It's, not only was his, the texture woolly, but it was white as snow. Read. As white as snow. 
And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now the average person will say, oh, what, Christ was spitting laser beams or something? Nah, get that in Genesis 49. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. Why was his eyes red with wine? Why do you think his eyes were red with wine? Why do I think? Um, I think he was angry. Oh, We're going to show you. You got that in Matthew. Matthew, 19. Matthew, 19. Matthew, 19. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 19. Bring it out. The Son of Man came eating and drinking. It says the Son of Man came eating and drinking. Read on. And they say, Behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber. A man gluttonous and a wine bibber. What is a wine bibber? It's a person that Drinks a lot of wine. Drinks a lot of wine, right? Go back to Genesis 49. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes was red with wine because he drunk wine. They called Christ a wine bibber. Go back to Revelation. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Hey, what's going on, brother? We're going over the scripture of Christ right now. You got some time to listen? All praises, all praises. What's your name, by the way? Bernard. Bernard, I'm Samuel. Nice to meet you. Go ahead. Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 14. So, 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 so far, we was showing that Christ had woolly, had white woolly hair. What nation of people has woolly hair? Huh? Say so what? We have woolly hair. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Right. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Uh huh. Read as, on. As white as snow. All praises for you doing that too. All praises for that. Because a man's supposed to have his head uncovered. That's a good thing. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. We established that his eyes were as a flame of fire because he drunk wine. And Matthew, they call Christ a wine builder. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Now, sisters, I know you got your feet out and everything. But if you look at your feet, it says his feet, it says his feet was what? And his feet like unto fine brass. It says his feet was like unto fine brass. So, if you look at your feet, isn't your feet the same complexion as the upper body of your face? Yeah. You know, so, we're going to figure out how, what, how this, this uh, fine brass was. We don't. And his feet, like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. It says, as if they burned in a furnace. So that fine brass was burnt in a furnace. So what does that show? It's dark. That shows he was a... That shows that... Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. That's right. These so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's Those right. And Satan look just like you. That's right. So now, you also said that uh, in the Old Testament, you said that, you know, you read scripture where it talks about, I think you said the other prophets being black. Yeah. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that. Get a uh, Song of Solomon, one of five. We want to give an example of a prophet. Let's go over, let's go over, let's go over some color. Song of Solomon, chapter one. Cause, Cause too long we've been destroyed as a people. We've been told that Christ, we've been told that God, our forefathers, they look like this man right here. Oh, you already knew that. Bring it out! That's what we've been told. This is the conversation people don't want to talk about. But right. guess what? You're going to talk about it today. That's right. You are a Nizalite according to the Bible. Right. You are a Nizalite according to the Bible. Don't let anybody tell you opposite. Right. Read that. Song of Solomon, chapter one, in verse five. Uh -huh. Get out! I am black, but comely. So, Song of excuse me, Solomon said, I am black, but comely, comely. You know how, uh, I think some women would be like, I'm black and beautiful. That's the same thing. Right. Solomon saying the exact same thing. I am black, but comely, read. I am black, but comely. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar. As the tents of Kadar. The tents of Kadar are black. He's saying he's black as the tents of Kadar. You can't get a so-called you can't get a so-called white man out of that. Bring it out. Why has our people? Why not even our people? Why is our oppressor lied to us? Why do you think our oppressor lied to us? Me. For all these years. Because we're powerful. We're powerful. We're powerful people. We're God's chosen people. Mm. That's get that in Deuteronomy seven. We are God's get chosen up. people. Contrary to what this world teaches us. Right. We are God's chosen people. We're going to show you where it says in the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. yeah. For thou art in holy people. It says, for thou art in holy people. The word holy means separate. Right. We are separate people. Read. Unto the Lord thy 
God, uh -huh. the Lord thy God hath chosen thee. So we're a separate people to the Lord thy God, and the Most High God chose us. Read. To be a special people unto himself. We are special people to God, uh, unto himself, unto God. Read. Above all people. It says beside all people. Above all people. Below all people. Above all people. We are above all people. Y'all understand how powerful that is to be above all people? Bring it out! I don't think y'all really, I don't think y'all understand. To be God's chosen people and to be put above all people. And be careful because it, it, you, huh? That should, lean, that should, yeah, that should yeah, hit yeah. you right um, there. This one don't lock in all the way. What else? Well, what about above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Well, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. The Most High God chose you. Right. The Most High God chose you so much, he sent his son to die for you, the That's Israelites. Right. So you can have a chance to repent. Right. And get your minds right. Because once again, we're in this condition that we're in now because we sin, our forefathers sin. That's why we're getting shot down in the street. Right. And our press and our presses uh go off guilty. I mean uh innocent. That's why we uh we have to work a nine to five. Right. You know we weren't even made to work. We're the kings and princesses of God. Right. Since you're a princess, you know that? But this world's not gonna teach you that. This world's not gonna teach. We have to come out from what the world says. We have to come out from being told that Christ is a white man. We have to come out from being told that we're nothing. We have to come out from homosexuality. We have to come out from selling drugs to each other. Matter of fact, get Romans 12 and 2. The mind has to change. You know what, you know what, what kills me? Well, all this corona stuff and all this, this police brutality, everything that's been going on, Black, my, Black Lives Matter, well, that's BS by the way, marching up and down the streets saying no justice, no peace. They want to outward change, but they don't want to change their inner self. Right! I don't know if you all seen the uh, Notorious B.I.G. movie, but there was something in there that he said. Biggie said, before we change the world, we have to change ourselves. Right. How do we change ourselves? Read. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Read it out. And be not conformed to this world, uh -huh. but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So we're not supposed to be conformed to this world. How are we conformed to this world? We follow the ways of America. The Bible says there's something against homosexuality, but what did President Obama do? Bring it out. What did President Obama do when he was president? Exactly, but that's against what the scripture says. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you doing? All praises, all praises. But that's what that's what he did, but that's opposite of what the Bible says. Right. That's the ways of the world. The ways of this world are opposite of the, of the ways of God. Right. What else you got on there? And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You have to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What right. renews your mind? When you transform, you change, right? So what changes you? Get that in Psalms 19 and 7. Yeah. This is what changes you, according to God. When you change, it's supposed to evolve. Not change and get worse. Right. I'll be the same brother and sister you was before. This is what changes you, according to God. Read. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Get out. The law of the Lord is perfect. It says the law of the Lord is perfect. These laws that are in the Bible right here, they are perfect because they were made for you and it was by the Most High God. Right. Converting the soul. It converts the soul. When you convert something, that means you're changing. Right. It changes the soul. Right. What else? The testimony of the Lord is sure. The test it didn't say that the, the testimonies of the Lord is unsure. It didn't say the testimonies of the Lord was halfway. It says the testimonies of the Lord are sure. Right. Read. Making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. Without the laws of God, we are a simple people. That's right. We are simple to believe that a movement, a Black Lives Matter movement, a man-made organization that has nothing to do with God, is going to get us out of captivity. Bring it up. We are simple to believe that the president we have, and uh, and, and matter of fact, I'll take take that back. Voting, period, is going to get us out of captivity. Bring it out. How are you going to trust in the same people that raped, robbed, murdered your forefathers? Right. But then, this is crazy. 
And Black Lives Matter, we want to march, we want to talk about we're oppressed, we want to talk about the enemy, but we're marching with the enemy. Bring it up! That's dumb as hell. Right. Right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.